Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got the 2022 X7 M50i in the very good looking Amatrin metallic. So I guess the best way to describe this, on the purple side, purple, violet, I don't know. I'm not great with these types of colors, but very unique looking color. We've had it on the channel before in the form of, I believe it was the X5M. Now here it is on X7 M50i. I've seen this color before on the X7. I think it looks really, really good. I think the color suits it very well. Let's talk about this thing here. So it's the G07 chassis. It is powered by the N63 V8 twin turbo engine. It is going away, at least for the X7. To be replaced by the S68. That's right, the motorsport engine. Probably going to be detuned. This one's got 523 horsepower and 553 torques. That's right, I said torques. Had a few comments, people saying it's not torques, it's newton meters or pound feet. It's actually a reference to Top Gear. So if you guys are gearheads watching this, you should know that. This is how Clarkson refers to torque. And I believe also Captain Slow did the same thing. At least once or twice. That's why I say torques. It's for fun. Okay? It's a reference. So up front, we got our laser lights. Standard on the X7 M50i. And this is going to be replaced by the X7 M60. Even though it's got the same horsepower and torque as far as I can tell so far. So I can't wait to see those ones in person. Be a couple more months. We've got our driving assistance professional package. It's shadow line trim as well. So all these parts are blacked out. So you need grill. Before I forget. The largest roundel on any game we currently. Is the Motorsport 50th anniversary logo. Again, celebrating the 50 years of being the VM. So these are optional on the M performance models and standard on the M cars. So for this, the M performance models, I believe it's $200 for the logo slash M1. Moving over to the side, we got, I think the 758. I'll double check that in a second. 22 inch wheels with our center caps with the 50th anniversary emblem, black calipers. I do have the suspension, the air suspension set in its lower side. So it's real low. To me, again, it looks like a fast wagon. That type of vibe going on here. Also, pretty nimble car as well. Did have the opportunity to put this on the autocross course at one of the UDEs for training. Matched it against, I think it was the GLS. I forget which GLS it was, it wasn't the AMG one. But this one is planted. It's really a true beam, even though it's also quite large and heavy. It handles really, really well. You have the opportunity to do autocross in this thing. It's, it's fun. You know, fan train away from the sunlight, which was a little bit brighter so you can see how this color comes out. Very good option. All right, we'll take a look at the inside and go over a pricing option. All right, so opening up, we've got the ivory merino leather. Good contrast with the amateur metallic. All right, inside, we've got our familiar live cockpit. Again, this is going to be replaced very soon, the X7, the LCI slash refresh. iDrive 7, again, replaced by iDrive 8 for the next model here. So we have our parking assistance package as well that is included in the X7 M50i. All right, talking about pricing. So starting price at $99,800. Amateur Metallic, another $1,950. The ivory white extended leather, thousand dollars. Cold weather package, eleven $1 hundred. We got the dynamic handling package, thirty-four fifty. Again, probably not something you're gonna see on too many in stock or dealer stock vehicles. Driver's assistance pro package, seventeen hundred bucks. 
luxury seating package, which also gets you the front massaging seats, as well as multi-contour, $1,100. The exact package for $1,300 gets you the glass controls, I believe also the panoramic sky lounge. Got all those standard stuff, so those are the 758s. The emblems for again for 200 bucks. We got our leather dashboard for 850. I think that's a must have in this car. 850 for the captain's chairs. And we got 300 bucks for the shell line trim. So the extended shell line trim. All told MSRP of $114,595. So not bad at all. And then we've got our ash grain bronze matte metallic trim. This is a pretty interesting trim. Very, very nice touch. I think a pretty good match with M trim as well. Use your glass controls for the shifter, start stop button, and the iDrive controller. So not a bad place to sit. We'll take out the Let's take a look at the back seat as well as the trunk. All right, so very large doors. Here we got our captain's chairs. Now again, this is gonna be a choice for you in terms of how much practicality you want. If you want a luxury cruise, I think the captain's chairs are the way to go. Of course, there are some drawbacks to that as well. I mean, very comfortable seats for your two Rear passengers. We've got room for two more people here in the third row. Again, these are all electronically controlled uh, access. So it does take a little bit of time, it's not manual. Let's go fold them back. Chairs go back. All right, so going around the back. So we do still have kick to open. That's disappearing across many of the BMWs currently. It's their latest sort of shortage. The X5 has a manual rear tailgate as well, just the lower portion of it. So again, with the captain's chairs, what you're gonna lose is the practicality of the storage space on the X7. So the only, if you want max luggage or storage space, only that third row is going to fold down. Second row just stays put, so you don't get that advantage you normally have with a Bentley X7. But then you have a choice of those things. Take one more walk around amateur and metallic. No, very good color. Suits the fast wagon. I think a fairly well equipped X7 M50i. Almost everything ticked. And that's about it for a quick tour around the X7 M50i. And we'll see you at the next video.